Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. A game I've been wanting to play for a while. I'm really excited for it. Uh, let's just go normal for now. But it looks like... Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Very cool. Very cool. Digging the sound effects a lot so far. Uh, might have to bring down the audio a little bit. Go back to that. Just a touch. That's good. Right there. Okay. New game. Normal. I don't want to enable any of this. I guess we should enable the uh, Heretic DLC. What was customized difficulty? Enable percentage awakening gauge. Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like I need to know more about this game before this. Uh, let's just, let's just new game. The first millennium. A time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperial's war fleet serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology. That music got a lot louder. Ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, Exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shed their human weakness, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against a dark new age, or a new dark age. Bleh. Or perhaps they will be the one to hasten its dawn. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a while. I like the Mechanicus. They seem cool. Transmission lost in the warp and recovered only now. It divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. Dread it. That's that's a dumb joke. Possible key to victory. Silva Tenebris. This is Solaris with an Ultima Segmentum. Gather them. Four months later. Yeah, the Adeptus Mechanics are cool. I have a Skitari kill team. Skitari Ranger kill team that I have yet to uh, paint. But I'm excited for them. Thanks that you will have seen what I've seen. Wearing my fellow seekers knowledge, whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope, have woken it. Into this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Terrors, yes, threats to body and soul. But by the Omnisaya, I found such wonders. All right. Evola. No additional support from the Forge Worlds. Achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Potential opportunity. Oh. Skirin Manuscripts, verse 619. The enemy built, let it be made asunder, for to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. This is so cool. Warp drive depleted. Warp storm. No light will not be pleased. We lost five navigators this day. Warp drive depleted. Geller field damaged. Megos Jeremiah. Nearby planet detected. Exiting the Imperium. It was a uh, Metroid-style musical swing there. I liked that. Yeah, I'm digging this so far. I need to actually see gameplay, but uh, so far, this is pretty cool. 
Tefra. Our troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Single colony, St. Eckhart's Hope, on the surface near the Xenos ruins. Colony presumed failed. Team of tech priests under Faustinius's command. Okay. Okay. Our uh, Agrilek sector? I kept trying to read that as Argilek. Uh, the tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Here and there, fissures in the structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of inhabitants. No less intimidating now, but instead of invoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of death, decline, and of death. The place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on a facsimile of life. Buried tomb structure. It's a tomb world. The sword of the Messiah. Secrets of this world equals zero. The presence of the Xenos lies in the invisible miasma of corruption. We shall see. Explore the Xenos tomb. Okay. Look at the ascension that a tech priest afford. Okay. Going in. Correct the machines they do not fully understand. Not to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like a true tech piece, you must experiment in order to learn. Okay. Okay. Those hieroglyphs. It's mysterious, ill research, corruptive. This obelisk can move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. No caution and scorn in all things. Oh, so we get to choose. Okay. Choose lightly. It is an obelisk like object covered in what can only describe as hieroglyphic symbols. It reaches the tallest. We can scrutinize and examine it. We can scourge it, destroy it, or we can secure it. Let's secure. The huge Blackstone. Nice. I think we made the right choice there. All right, now we go to the next one. Okay, we have Apprentice Jeremiah, Magos Minarius, and some servitors. Right. We're going to have to fight over here, right? Necrons. As deadly as they are inhuman. Cohort encounters resistance to the form of Xenos constructs, not flesh and bird creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. You can caution. Or it was trickier than anything we've Crusade. We can consistency. Shall be done by the book. Long established tenets of oh that's so cool. Of the Mechanicus. For better or better or for ill. I can't speak today, apparently. Look at that Necron.
Do not underestimate Gauss weaponry. Highly volatile. Approach with caution. Normally they will self repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left the time to do so. Which they would instantly kill a Skatari or the equivalent of a Class C Greys to Necrons. Okay. Let's get into combat. Start every fight, you must decide the location of units on the field of battle. You don't place units in the highlighted squares. Click on square to place a unit. Okay. Magos Minarius can go right here. Kind of want Apprentice Jeremiah to be able to take a shot right away. So if we put him right here, we should have line of sight to that Necron warrior. Oh, but they're going first. Ooh, okay, we're good. Blue outline surrounding unit. This can confirm their movement. To decline the movement, simply right click anywhere. Okay. Source of cognition points represents the valuable information the tech priests are harvesting. Okay. Several ways to collect CP. When your tech priest goes to source CP, and the other ways to collect CP is to look around and find out what they are. All right. Bottom of the screen in the CP gauge. Shared team resource to plan ahead. We're healing enemy statistics. I think we're out of the range of that, yeah. yeah he's out of our range. Well, the faithful servant of the augmented we use for standing. It has their own servo skull. We hope on condition point collections like the enemy find out battle statistics. Okay, knowing your enemy's stats will greatly. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. HP, physical armor, energy armor, statistics. Okay. Does he have a second move that he can do? He does, but I don't really want to get him in range. I guess we need to. Go up and take a shot. How do I? There we go. Good four damage. We can end our move right here. Oh, cognition movement. Okay, I see. It'll use CP, but we can move back behind cover. Yeah, let's do it. And he collects another one. All right. I'm assuming that's going to be cover. We'll end his turn. All right. Now, I do have a CP. I could get up there and bash him. The Omniscient Axe. First, we have to move up there. Oh, he's going to collect it as he goes. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I didn't servo skull him first, I don't actually know how much damage that did. I see. Okay, that's very cool. We can servo skull him now, and we can see how much damage we did. All right. Oh, I didn't think you'd shoot him. Ooh, that's not great. New round. All right, and we get new uh, cogitation points because we're next to it. Nice, cognition, not cogitation. Oh, okay. Start of every round. You'll need cognition points to deploy troops. So we can call in servitors now. And we can call them in next to our people. Very cool. Trigger an opportunity attack. Okay, very cool. She can only perform one op attack per round. Because his Necron was about to try and move away. Yeah, so he can shoot. Okay, I'm digging this so far. This is cool. T tech priests. We've already commanded. Or troops. Okay. 
troops use servants and cannon fodder. They don't have access to many weapon skills. Tech priests, however, they are useful and should not be overlooked. Okay. So, for instance, he's got a servo arm, which is melee. But we can also use them to collect cognition. Or, uh, yeah, cognition, right? Mm, no, they cannot collect cognition. Okay. I see. It's interesting. Yeah, he's well out of range for that. Okay. Two more damage. Looks like now it is uh, charged. I don't know what that means exactly, but okay. He's out of range, so we're gonna move up. And then machine spirits charge so it'll do more damage yeah and it destroys them and we get a cognition for it very cool rounds are made self-repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and keeping wounds we call this the reanimation protocol right they will fight will return to fighting condition soon doing any amount of damage to neck around in this protocol state will destroy them immediately okay Servo arm. Very nice. And we're far beyond our reach. Practical turns this means you've killed the target. Oof. Two damage. Not ideal. New round. Agitation's back up. I don't think we really need to bring in anybody else, but we can. Dump him right there. Like one cognition point when hit by an enemy. Okay. I think we're going to kill it with this guy this time. Servo arm. We did not actually kill him. Okay. Sacred machine spirits within them. The more used weapon, the more charged becomes. Get a buff to the attack of that weapon. Okay. Like this weapon, you see the buffs of the machine spirit within the tool too. Plus one damage. Okay. Oh, we don't have line of sight. We can't shoot. Interesting, because if we were blocking it with our guys, now we can. Very cool. Destruction is the destiny of the Xenos. So the last one, even if it goes into reanimation protocols, we still win. Very cool. I'm digging this. Of course, HP amount carries over each fight within a mission. Keep this in mind with, for opportunities to repair. Okay. All right. Next up. Burial places, structural purpose designation, tomb. Uh, okay. Upright coffins. We can ignore them. Intrigue them. Old pit grounds and readings may be the key to success, or we can ignite them. It's intrigue. Blackstone. Okay, we got some good blackstone for it. We yet know what we use blackstone for. Okay, come on. Initiative advantage is even right now. Tile underfoot clicks. The sound of warring energy builds up around your troops. A quick omnispec scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides by Xenos life forms. Here we go. Necrons. Kill all enemies. All right, we're going to put them both over here to go straight for the let's go ahead and get everybody out here so we win initiative and then we'll have them keep these busy well I mean we don't want them to die obviously but while our priests gather up some more cognition Oh, 
Oh, they did four damage to. Oh no, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have got him out here. Oh no, that was a mistake. Tech priest taking interest. Quickly noting down damage angles, projectile speeds, and other useful combat information to be used later against their enemies. Okay. There was a very useful unit in all missions. He shoots that one. He's dead. Oh, we lost a servitor. Yeah. Troops are cannon fodder designed to protect. Oh, still. Don't just want him to die. Ugh, this is not a good situation. I messed up by bringing them all in early. All right. Let's. Get them moving. Don't have a lot of movement. But this is the one with the macro stubber, so we're going to go ahead and move him up. Get to shooting. I should have scanned him first. I wasn't thinking. Okay, we can scan him now. CP powered weapon. False force Serpenta requires CP to you. Look for the right hands. Okay. It requires two. So we can quick come over here and gain three cognition. We can spend a cognition to come down here. We can fire the false four Serpenta. Whoa, that's pretty great. Then another cognition to run all the way down here and bash him before he can get up. Okay, that's pretty dang cool. And then can we servo skill the other guy? We can. Very cool. It's time to dash towards this guy. We're going to lock him down. Forgot we got to end the turn. I wonder if there's a quick key for that. No, there's not. Okay. Oh, no. Canoptic Scarabs. Opportunity equals knowledge. Gather. Must obtain. Required. Or data servicing. No life forms detected. Area safe. Continue forward. Just verify your cogitators, then tell me what surfaced from Magos Resnux cogitators. That <laughs> possible artificial intelligence. This was gathered. AI theory equals false. Weeks of studies show there are many variants of Scarab, each with their own roles within the Xenos economy and architecture. Able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter. They're able to repair other units within their species with lightning speed when they're deadly in large swarms. Very nice. All right, so now we got to deal with those too. Oh, he's shooting at us. Ugh. One damage. I thought it was 10 for a second there. I was, I was very concerned. Okay. Is this in melee range right here? Really? Okay. Did some damage to it. We're not sure how much yet. Still. Yeah, and he's in melee. He's going to take an opportunity attack. Okay, we're going to run him back here. We're going to take the opportunity attack and we're going to run back here and grab the cognition. Acid damage. Take the shot. Yeah. Very nice. One damage to the end of each turn. Goodness. Very nice. Four straight damage. Can't quite reach there even if we spend a cognition, so we might as well wait to spend it. What does the canticles do? I press D. What was it? 
Nothing. Oh, we have zero canticles. It's not press D. It's we have zero canticles. Okay. I've misunderstood. Sheen Spirit is charged. Servo arm. The servitors can't scan things. They can bash things. Didn't kill it though. It's up next. It tried to move. Haha, <laughs> now it's dead. New round. Recharges. We gain it immediately. Ugh, it's gonna be two more damage. Dang it. Pain. Fine. Wisdom. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to get into range. Maybe if I run all the way over here with a cognition, maybe. Nah, it's just out of range. Oh, we can spin another cognition to get closer. There we go. Machine spirit. Very nice. We should automatically win now because that was the last enemy. Very cool. I like this game. This is cool. We'll get through this tutorial and then we'll call it. Slide forms for purged. Taking some bad damage though. And we lost a servitor. Significant importance to your mission. Entering these rooms really brings you closer to the end of a mission. Okay. Data collection protocols. Acknowledged, Megos. May take a while. Approved. Hit switch mechanism, learn that card, and we're going to learn later. What will it be, sire? Or ourselves to the Xenos learnings, maybe the only way to reach the Archaeotech we seek. Connect it once. Possible scrap code will fragment now. Fragmenting. Augmentations entered sporadic reaction protocols. The fired vital si fried vital sign regular regulatories. Your full damage report. The crowd device is now activated, sire. Tomb is waking. Oh no. Oh, it's of approaching forces. I like this guy. Agrilek. What are your orders, Magos? Bridges stretch for many platforms. Fall back. Capture. 
Stand ground. Ugh. None of these are great options. Capture. I should have fell back. I should have fell back. We're going to die. I should have fell back. We're going to die. Survive six rounds. Oh, no. Final battle of the tutorial. Why would you have learned so far to attain victory? You may lose this battle, but not the war. There are many alternate paths to discover in Mechanicus. Okay. All right. Well, we're definitely losing the servitors, so we're going to use them as shields here. Oh, there's the Admiral Agritech. We're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Uh, servitor, servitor, servitor. Right there. We're going to see if we can't blitz down towards the south where maybe we can survive. But I just don't know. Necron right there too, honestly. We'll reveal the stats on that one. Everything's out of our range. Even if we had tried to fall back, though, I don't know that we actually would have made it. Survive five rounds. So this one and then five more. Okay. Oh, there's a hole there I didn't see. No. Okay, let's just try getting people to that corner if we can. I don't think we're gonna make it out of this. Shroud. Oh boy. Okay, this is not great. This is not not great. This is not great. I'm moving too much. I'm low key panicking a little. Uh, it's fine. We'll we'll be fine. We're just gonna. We're going to try and get down here to this corner and see if we can survive. I'm pretty sure we can't survive, but we're going to try. Are we in range to shoot this guy now? We are. Cannot, because we can't see him. We have no cognition to be able to move faster. Okay. We'll gain a cognition right here, though. So there's that. We can move further up. We're gonna send this one to block over here. We're losing the servitors. That's I've already decided the serv. Oh, he's shooting him. I was really hoping he'd shoot the servitor. Oh, that was three damage. No. My tech priests are all gonna die. Here he comes. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Nightmare Shroud. He moves so fast. He moves so fast. He's gonna melt that servitor. Oh, he lived. Okay, we have a chance. We got another cognition. It's a new round. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna try and keep him busy. We're not gonna do any damage to him whatsoever, but we're gonna try and keep him busy. here and several skull him okay okay let's just take the shot okay all right okay all right my turn can we get him we can okay 40 all right yeah no mm, 40 <laughs> okay we're just gonna move in here and smack this guy we have another cognition now, so we're just gonna smack him. And we get another cognition from that. And then we'll have the servitor finish him. So he doesn't reanimate. Okay, that's two damage. Servitor's for sure gonna die. down here finish this guy off he doesn't get up okay move up to shield when my fleet sails once more oh boy Four damage and one hit. Okay. Gain a cognition though. Opportunity attack. He knocks him down. Oh, can we do this? Can we actually do this? Machine spirit charged. It did five damage. feel like we just wait here we just need to survive two more rounds and hit him so I, yeah I feel like we just wait delayed this unit's turn okay that's fine right. take him out of the equation that Necron's down now move back And this last servitor, we're going to move him up and have him help. Machine Spirit. Another four damage. He's a Locust Heavy Destroyer, isn't he? Destroyer Lord, probably. Okay, that's a really good line, though. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Uh, we're gonna just end the turn. if we could just survive one more turn. One more turn. I didn't expect him to wipe them both. I did not expect we're gonna delay this one's turn. Ugh, I feel like we sacrificed a tech priest to save the other tech priest, maybe? Delay his turn. Maybe if we move him up. Agrilek will go back to fight him instead. Can you hear the trembling of the star? I should have moved them away. That was dumb. I had co cognition. I could have moved them so far. He's going to go down and just sweep them. He's going to go down and just sweep them. I should have had him run. What a foolish... He didn't. Oh, he didn't. We just need to survive one more round. Full move. Full move away.
That Necron's up there, but I think we can move to behind this cover, and that Necron won't be able to get to us. Reveal that, get another co cognition back. Okay. All right. No, you're up. Move. Full move. Full move. Full move. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving to behind this cover. Might not be covered, though, honestly. Let's move to right here. Okay, we just had to survive this last round. Did we make it? Oh, we made it. Okay. Dino's contained. Cool. We sur survived the Xenos life forms. Not by much, but we did. Yeah. We face loss of the mission when this happens, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. The reanimation. Obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm, but now the sarcophagi in the tomb are starting to open. Before the Necrons awaken completely. They're under the gun, then. Back the logic to determine decision making. Return sorrow and despair from my emotional cores. Yeah. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnissiah teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. Maintain a foothold. Okay. Achieve crucial objectives and respond to crises. Time may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved with the thoroughness of a full deployment. Mobilize the Skitari. Focus on acquiring artifacts, intelligence data from... Ah. Our only objective should be death to the alien and all his works. All else is de deviance from the Omnissiah Creed. Face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. Better in ignorance than in heresy. Return frustration at your conflict and choose to experience it. Bloodshed enough on Silva Tenebris without the Magi coming to blows. Our purpose, we are united. This is the will of the Omnissiah. Shall be done. Shall be done. Man, this game's cool. I like this a lot. Readings from the tomb are troubling. The Skitari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered. What they have found gave me grave concern. Micron construct forms are waking up. Energy spikes across the region. There are other structures yet to be uncovered. Contain the constructs within. Repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols and the rate the Necrons are awakening. They're speeding up. Two hundred and sixty-four hours. Ooh. Time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we'll be able to deploy. Okay. Forced to abandon the planet. Top left corner of the screen. This is the Necron Awakening Meter. Shows you how many Necron tombs have awoken on Silver Tenebris. And gather as much information in tech before reaching 100%. Okay. Fear they are right. I feel fear too. As part of my humanity, I've chosen to retain, but I can quarantine it in my neuro vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. I'll be easy. The Omnisaya did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity present on this world will be eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus, the equation is balanced. It is the will of the machine god. Is Kropis sector located? Ekropis? 
It was bathed in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate, but only to make the shadows deeper. Resurface seems connected via filaments of alien light. The design here speaks of Xenos tech heresy, hidden knowledge and structure as alive and where as anything inhabiting it. Early exploratory readings indicate the walls are made in substances not known to the rituals of metallurgy. Abstract designs carved into the substance in just unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy slows the steps of the first troops to enter here. The heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely they are the only dangers. Pistis Metallican. Arc Mechanicus uh, class battleship. Class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium, but it's only afforded the Adeptus Mechanicus. Customize your tech priest and prepare for missions ahead. You can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Expect to equip our tech priests. Head over to the cohort tent. Okay. Up here. The all available tech priests and troop units currently online. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop has available. Tech priests shown in the bottom six slots. Okay. Yeah, we only have the one servitor that made it back. Yes, Jeremiah. Priest customization screen. There are many ways to customize a tech priest. You can change your weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades, and more. Into the discipline button near the tech priest portrait. Oh! Okay. Using Blackstone. I'm just working on a different play styles. Like one of the skills from one of the six discipline trees now. Explorators take on a quest for knowledge more than any other discipline. They reach far into the depths of unknown space, searching for the lost archaeotech, new species, and even new worlds. Secutors are masters of man and machine. They wield the often rare trait of charisma. Firing leadership, they will multiply the efficiency of Skatari tenfold. An often overlooked discipline, uh, Tech Oxalum, takes on tasks that other tech priests avoid. They are the oil within an engine. They keep the great mechanic's cog running as smoothly as they can. Lex Mechanic, rigorous catalogers. They compile, analyze, and run data entry tasks. Capable of finding valuable tech, or valuable data among indecipherable text, maps, or other obscure forms such as enemy weaknesses in battle. Engine Seer. Like other priests, Engine Seers are found to serve on almost every Imperial planet in the galaxy, seeing to the well-being and maintenance of all things mechanical. Dominus is trained heavily in the art of war, using their skills to monitor and calculate highly complex battle maneuvers in the blink of an eye. And the Xenorite. Figures of Xenorites seek to understand and even use dangerous alien technology. There's the discipline they can reap the greatest rewards and the foulest corruption. Restore range for ranged weapons. Restore 1 HP at the beginning of the unit's turns. So that's very good. Cleanse the target of any negative effects. Uh, for an active, negative effects less one, one less turn. Generate one cognition point at the beginning of the unit's turn if the gauge is empty. Weapon attacks cognition cost is reduced by two cognition points. Uh, troop unit gains plus one damage, plus four movement, and plus 15 critical chance. That's very good. And reveal enemy statistics when in melee range. Uh, ultimately, once per battle, revive the tech priest at the beginning of his next turn with 10 HP. Uh, if no melee unit is equipped, gain plus one damage, plus one physical armor, plus one energy armor, plus four range for ranged weapons, plus 15% crit chance. Uh, choose between two canticles. Restore all HP on all tech priests or all HP on all groups. That's very good. Overcharged cognition. Fill the cognition gain and collect one cognition get point when hit by an enemy. Uh, overzealous. Cast a canticle for free. Canticles can be used again later in the mission. That's very cool. Reinforcements. Call in a troop unit instantly anywhere on the map. And Traveler, if no ranged weapons are equipped, plus one damage, plus three to movement. That's very good. All of these seem very good. Um, what does he have on him? Equip this tech priest with a weapon. You can see the capacity amount for items within its tool. Drag a weapon on the slot. It will take up one of your tech priest's augment capacities. So gain more AC slots. Upgrade your tech. Okay. Power Axe. Phosphor Blast Pistol and Arc Scourge. What does he have right now? Now, I guess he doesn't have anything because I'm choosing to upgrade him right now. So, this guy... Scourge costs three. Single target melee attack. Upon hitting target, turns into a cone area attack. That's very good. The Machine Spirit version of it makes it where it costs nothing to use. All but required is. Can't tell. Power axe. Single target ranged attack. Let's give Magos Jeremiah the power axe. And 
let's put him in Explorador for melee range. Dog with slot skills and body part. Okay. Cost is 121. Okay. Let's do it. The diverse team is advised, however, the choice is all yours. Tech Priest can be multidisciplined, and you can learn skills from more than one discipline. Okay. Now he has the second augment. Which means theoretically we could give him the Arc Scourge, which is a single target melee attack. Oh, that's cool. We should probably give him... Oh, he needs more augment slots for that. Okay, so we'll just have him a straight melee. And then... This one can be our ranged boy. Which one was the ranged one? This one, Dominus. Plus four range for all range weapons. Pretty good. Right now, he just has the false form blast pistol. You can give him that for now as well so that he's got something for problem solving. But, yeah. Pistol's going to be the big thing. Okay. That's very cool. Tech, that's a list of technologies clicked so far. Okay. STC fragments. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Port. Okay. Very cool. Three versions of each item. Troops. We have servitors right now. Ship upgrades. Okay. Very cool. Canticles. Okay. Quest for a canticle is complete. You're then able to take the canticle on mission to use this incredible ability. Complete five missions. Complete ten missions. Complete a mission without using a canticle. Very cool. Use five canticles. So you're not going to get them all then on your same playthrough. Very cool. Maya, Megas, Marius. We can't upgrade our servitors. Oh, we can do color scheme? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm digging this a lot. I definitely want to play more of it, but... You know, your thoughts on uh, Mechanicus in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum that Mechanicus has to offer.